All right, Jackie, thank you. We'll stay on top of that. If we learn new details, we'll bring them to you at home Great. as well. The leading Democratic presidential candidates all gathered in Las Vegas today, hoping to win supporters at the union-sponsored health care event. Right now, the event's wrapping up. NBC's Gina Kim is in Las Vegas. So, Gina, we've heard from seven Democrats today. Was there a common theme here? There absolutely was, Contessa, and it was a very bold promise at that. The top Democratic presidential candidates, Sen Senator Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John Edwards, and New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, all basically stood up at that podium at the forum here in Las Vegas and promised Americans that if they get elected to the White House, every American would have health insurance by the time their first term in office is up. In other words, by the year 2012. Yes, a very, very ambitious plan. And each of the seven candidates had a kind of slightly varying path of how they were going to reach that goal. But some of the universal themes that they focused on was that they would simply expand on the programs that we already have in place, such as the federal benefits program that federal employees get. They would kind of expand that while also expanding the private health care system. They also said that they would switch the focus of the national health care scope from that of treating chronic illnesses to more of a prevention of those illnesses in the first place, Contessa. It sounds like a great idea. At John Edwards' universal health care plans uh, would require raising taxes, and that's what he told people today. New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson said he can do it without raising taxes. Did he say how he plans to accomplish that? Well, he said that the, the health care plan that members of Congress, uh, members of the government such as himself get is really a stellar plan. And he said he doesn't really see any reason why we can't work a little bit harder just to expand that. And then he said uh, one of his focal points was that he wants to cut out the fat. He said something like 30 percent of all health care costs in the United States is simply spent on bureaucracy, on administration. So he would find a key way to try to chop that fat off and dump that money into health care for Americans. Gina Kim, appreciate the reporting. Thanks. Anna Nicole Smith's baby girl is now more than six 